Happy July 10th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy spoke with several artisans as we look to uncover the source of the counterfeit guild crests plaguing Saberhold. We didn't acquire any leads, but we got some interesting advice from a wise tortoise. He suggested we try to join a guild ourselves and see if the counterfeiter comes to us and that is where we left things so let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today after requesting a meeting with rot ward scale you are finally granted an audience with the master and overseer of the artisan guilds um that guy has a lot of merit badges <laughs> uh i don't see any hidden icons on this page uh, we're gonna do two things one ask about the fake guild crests it's a charisma check and two pay the fee of five amber to begin your test uh, and we're gonna try to persuade him about something there okay here we go oh, he, <clears throat> he's got a lot to say so you're an artisan looking to make and sell wares in Saberhold you are in the right place before you can begin crafting or selling goods in Saberhold, you must join a guild first. While our guilds are currently at capacity, there's a unique opportunity for those specializing in arms and armor. Given the recent developments concerning the insect attack in Crown Spire, I believe it's imperative for our city to escalate its production efforts. Our realm requires well-equipped soldiers, and it's a responsibility we can't afford to overlook. Despite reservations from Lord Hark Hornclaw, I remain steadfast in my conviction that our city must bolster its numbers of artisans focused on crafting weapons, shields, and armor. The insect's menace is a real and imminent threat that I take seriously. I'm resolute in my commitment that Saberhold remains impervious to their influence and meddling. Our city's resilience and preparedness are paramount, and I'm eager to welcome dedicated artisans who share in this conviction. <laughs> he, he, he wrote a speech for us. Uh, that was the Garulus Rot Ward scale. Okay, ask about the fake guild crests. We can get a word in edgewise. We say, hey, oh five uh charisma plus two is seven investigator we are not an investigator nor do we have an investigator um i don't think we have any we could use if we get one more point we get the middle result but i don't think we can i don't think we have anything that can help us okay worst result um i'm not concerned about these whispers of fake guild crests and you shouldn't be either <laughs> okay uh all right two <laughs> pay the fee of five amber to begin your test roll d20 plus charisma reminder persuasion oh we had our no the plus two only applied to yesterday i think okay so nine plus two is eleven uh persuasive we are not ivy's intimidating um do we have anybody that can help persuasion or charisma? Oh, we have the Baron who can help with charisma. Uh, should we apply that to the previous result or this one? Uh, is that cheating? 9, 10, 11. 11 is going to get us the middle result on this one. And if the Baron helps... Uh, I'm going to do this. The bear, it's, it's, uh, it's so unlikely that our party members come through for us. So, if um, if the Baron comes through here, we'll apply it to that first roll, even though we technically already did that. Okay, we need... Oh, what, is, what does the Baron want? Baron. Uh, Baron Bartholomew von Crawlington IV can add plus two charisma if we draw a diamond. That is three or better here we go and he does not <laughs> yeah seven of hearts um yeah okay so we get the middle result first result on the first roll middle result on this roll what do we have um 
Given the circumstance, uh, oh, he's got a lot more to say. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Guild Crest serves as a symbol of your demonstrated expertise in crafting high quality items that align with the standards of your trade. To attain Guild membership, you must successfully undertake a trial of skill within your chosen craft. As you embark on this trial, a limited time frame will be allotted to select a bl blueprint, gather the necessary materials, and deftly shape them into your creation. Throughout this process, you will be required to rely solely on your own abilities and knowledge. Collaboration with others is prohibited. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna ignore the sick critters behind us. <laughs> Once your piece is complete, it will be subject to my inspection. Rest assured, if your proficiency is exemplary, there should be no hindrance. Are you prepared to embark on this endeavor? Sure, why not? <laughs> what if we say no? Can we just say no and walk away? Uh, okay, middle result. Given the circumstances, I think we can cut you a small break on the fee. Remove three amber from your inventory. Okay, we got the, uh, there's a fire sale and the, <laughs> where did he say three? We're down to 17. Okay, well, there you go. That, my friends, is July 10th, so <laughs> we shall say goodbye for now. Visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.